Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. So after getting so many requests to do the big ass makeup from Bajira Mastani, I have finally done this makeup tutorial for you all. It is a super natural makeup look, very effortless, very no makeup makeup types. So yeah, if you would like to see how to get this Deepika inspired Bajira Mastani makeup look, then please keep watching. So I'm first applying some strobe cream by MAC all over my skin. This is because the big guy had a really nice glow to her skin. Um, so I'm putting this on first. You can mix this with your foundation, but I wanted to do separate layers. So for foundation, I wanted something super natural looking. So I'm using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the shade 6.5. Now this shade is slightly dark for me, so I am gonna be getting a shade slightly lighter, um, but I'm just buffing this into my skin. I'm really kind of concentrating on buffing this away because this makes it look super, super natural and skin-like. And then I did double up the coverage in the centers of my face like you can see here just to get rid of any kind of redness or anything like that and I'm kind of pushing the product in and then slightly buffing it away as well. Now for concealer I went in with an Urban Decay concealer and this is in the shade NSA and it's a concealer pen so I'm taking this underneath my eyes and I'm not drawing any triangles or anything like that underneath my eyes I'm just kind of swooping that color underneath my eyes in kind of like a moon shape um, and then I'm doing the usual so putting some on my forehead, the bridge of my nose, my chin and around my mouth to just slightly highlight the areas because we don't want the skin to look all one colour. And this will really help balance out the colours in your face and I'm blending all that away with my damp beauty blender. I did go in with a really 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 subtle contour and I'm using that same concealer pen in the shade M16 and I'm just putting this underneath my cheekbones around my forehead. I did contour my nose slightly and of course my cupid's bow and below my lips and then also my jawline as well because the bigger has a really chiseled face so I just wanted to make sure that that was kind of slightly defined but again very very, very natural as well and these concealer pens are super 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 creamy and they're so easy to blend out as well which is why I opted for that rather than something kind of heavier I'm just going in with the same foundation brush and just kind of blending those lines away and then using my beauty blender to blend the contour lines to set all of the concealed areas, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm just going ahead and slightly putting some of this on those areas. Nothing too major, nothing too heavy, but I did go ahead and kind of slightly carve out my contour just to kind of clean that area up and it wasn't looking too kind of blended. I did want it to look like there was a little bit of a contour. So now for setting the contour, I'm using the Bahama Mama Powder by The Balm Cosmetics and I'm just going over the areas where we applied the darker concealer shade and once I was happy with the way that that was looking and that everything was nice and set I did go back in with the foundation brush that we used for the base and just went in and blended out any kind of lines so that everything was looking nice and natural for blush I used a deep throat by NARS and this is a very gorgeous pinky shade and it also looked very natural as well, something very similar to what the Bigger had also worn. And then I am again going back in with the same foundation buffing brush and just making sure that all of that is nicely blended and it's looking as natural as possible. And because the Bigger did have a glow to her skin I'm going in with a Kevin O'Quan Celestial Powder and I'm putting that onto the usual areas that I like to highlight, so the tops of my cheeks and slightly bringing that up into my temples and eyebrows and then also slightly above my eyebrows and my chin and the bridge of my nose. Taking Creme de Nude Color Tattoo, I'm putting this all over my eyelid and this is going to act as a really nice base for any eyeshadow that we're going to be putting on and it also kind of neutralizes any of the darkness that I've got going on on my eyelids. And once I was happy with that, I did go ahead and set that with some translucent powder and you can use any translucent powder for this, it will do the job, but I believe I used the same Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. For the eyeshadows, I used the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette and I'm going in with the shades Honey Butter and chocolate cookie and I'm basically just putting this color or the mixture of these two colors all on my eyelid and then also in the crease of the eye as well 
And we just want to make sure everything is looking nice and blended and it's kind of got a nice gradient in it to the crease as well. For my highlight for my eyes, I went back in with the Celestial Powder by Kevin Aquan and I'm putting this underneath my brow bone just to act as a very subtle highlight. It's perfect for daytime wear because it just gives a slightest bit of glow. Then taking a Lace Teddy, which is a slightly pinky colour, I'm just concentrating this colour on the eye lid. Um, I'm trying not to take it too far up the crease because I wanted it to just give the eyes a bit of a pinky tone to it similar to the Bigaz. Then taking the Archery by Soap and Glory I'm just going ahead and filling in my brows and because the Bigaz has very very thick full brows I am going in quite thick on my naturally thin brows just to kind of mimic the look that she went for and I'm just using small strokes and building up my brow until I was happy with the thickness and also the shape of it as well and once I was done with this I did go ahead and go through the spoolie end through both of my brows just to make sure everything was nice and blended and it wasn't very blocky especially in the front part of our brows because we don't want them to look very squared off or overly filled in we wanted them to be looking as natural as possible and here you can just see me doing that with the spoolie end and then to make sure everything was nice and set I went in with my body shop clear brow and lash gel and just went over my brows to make sure that none of the hairs were gonna move and they were gonna stay put for mascara, I wanted to use something super curling, so I used the Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara. And the reason why I like this mascara is because you really don't need to curl your lashes when you do this, because it really does lift them. And the big girl was definitely wearing a really gorgeous mascara, which is why I went for this one. And I did about two coats of this on my lashes, just so that I was kind of happy with the way that they were looking, because you guys know I love mascara. Then I'm taking my Anastasia Black eyeliner gel and I'm going ahead and lining my upper waterline and you want to make sure that you concentrate this also in the inner third of your eye and not only is this going to look similar to what the Bika had but it's also going to make your eyelashes appear a lot thicker and fuller as well. So once I was happy with that we needed to go in with some nude eyeliner and for that I used the Charlotte Tilbury nude eyeliner. I love this nude eyeliner. I think it's well worth the money because it is super pigmented, super creamy and it does last as well. So I am putting a good layer or two on my lower waterline just to make sure that it's quite nice and intense because the Bigger definitely had nude eyeliner going on in this trailer and song. Grabbing the same Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara, I'm putting this on my lower lashes. I'm just giving them a nice coat and you can miss this step if you want but I love mascara so I went ahead and added this onto my lower lashes. And then I moved on to lips. So taking the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in the shade Sultry, I'm just going ahead and dabbing this onto my lips because this is going to give a really nice natural looking lip color and it's not going to look too bold like the Bigaz. But I did feel like it was looking a bit too pink so I did go over the top with a Soap and Glory Red My Lips lipstick and just went over the top in the same kind of dabbing motion as well just so that it looks super natural. And once I was happy with this, I went over the top with some translucent setting powder and this is the same Laura Mer one just to make this all look matte and I love doing this technique because it basically turns any lipstick into a matte lipstick and yeah that is the end and final step of this makeup tutorial and this is the final look I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look I had so 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 many requests to do this makeup look and I was a little bit hesitant to do it because it is so 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 natural looking but I thoroughly enjoyed creating this because it it is such a fun fresh look that you can wear every single day or even if you just want that kind of natural glowy glam the bigger goddess looking makeup but yeah um that's all for now you guys and i guess i will see you all in my next tutorial bye